All right. Um, we're back. We're a little bit early, but uh, I got some people coming over tonight, so I need to knock this out a little bit early so I can see them. And so here we go. All right, continue. And I did check, and uh, it is stupid what I missed. It's so, so, so dumb. Um, wait a minute. Oh, please tell me I don't have to redo this whole fucking thing. Ugh. Okay, this is really, really, really crappy. On a scale of one to fuck me, this is a pretty much a fuck me. Um... I'm not at all happy with the, uh... The way this is No, going. sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. Yes, Captain. No, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> we should try... No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. So, what my my brain failed to realize last night is uh, that this I'm supposed to actually pick one of these as being the most important thing, which of course is a different thing. about the missing tenants. She's in custody. I think I've learned all I can. 
can here. I better go find that witness. Yeah, so apparently, uh, we got kind of pimped last night, and everything that we did didn't matter. Isn't that fun? Yeah. That's all right. It's not like we did a lot. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Is this supposed to be something? Okay. Well, that's a thing. I can't tell you anything, son. I'm not in homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... Okay, so maybe we didn't lose everything. Maybe the collectibles that we picked up stayed collected. Just the main investigation didn't keep. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes. And it would probably help me find my mom. But as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long.
would swear about 90% of the stuff that I need here used to be possessable and now it's not. Or uh, usable. There's Tabby up on the table. And there's Tabby walking by. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do to distract this guy? How the hell am I supposed to get her through a room full of cops like this? Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's the cave. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Come on, everybody. Stay low. Oh, Now's your chance. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? You got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Duh. Uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or think anything creepy. Oh, if this doesn't make us even... Okay, man. Get out. I got this. Donuts, obviously. Oh, the donuts. I swear this place is haunted. You need to Come hurry. On.
waiting by the door so you can get coming. Everybody. Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush. I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. I just need to figure this out. where I think it is. I think it's right in here, but apparently I can't jump to that conclusion. Hey, 
can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Two more clues to go, and I don't know where they should be. <laughs> to find that journal. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand where all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! I just did that. Rex. Oh, I'm not Cop, you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, 
Hold up, Pete. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Place. Bell Killer War Room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap. Sorry, I, I did post this Facebook. I, I've got people coming over tonight, so I thought I'd go early. Can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? What would make her help me? I guess I just click on them until I find the right one. I don't know. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. I listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not gonna say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world and you need a detective. The last case. Ashlyn Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I don't know, I guess, I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. We? No, we? Come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. 
Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet uh, you there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. It was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Uh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. Okay, fuck it, who cares? Clearly not important enough to bother with. I can't believe this! Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. All right, I'll look into it.
Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. friend. She never anticipated this. Understanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So. So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. problems could be it solved that quickly. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know.
You okay? I, I don't know. I was so drunk. We both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next, I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. Wh what Forget it. Makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. Not already. What am I gonna do? Ask the murder girl. Just leave it to me. scene tag here, though. Apparently that's nothing. Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. Bushes.
Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. This is all I can find. Wait a minute. There's something familiar about this. Okay, I wonder what it could be. Don't know. She died. Better tell Joy. Body washed up on shore, so she was murdered up river. Where? Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Genius would be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it! Stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with. Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, hey, she can help hey, all of us. Please. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Oh, damn it, Beavis. No. Okay, the demons in this area got really rough to deal with. They weren't that, they weren't impossible. It's the next area we end up and I think it's in the next part it's going to be harder. But it's so hard, it's just impossible to deal with things. Yeah, it's going to be hard to deal with things. But, the last one I'm going to get to deal with it better. be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. This is not going to end well. It's just like a fence, right? Haven't had this much fun in... ever. Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston. In the middle of the night. Who was the hero? My great grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gory stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. 
Trust me, kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. I don't know what you're doing, but... Finally. It's about time they sent someone. Look, I think you got the wrong guy. Who were you expecting? <sighs> Who's supposed to maintain this place? I mean, just take a look around. These aren't just rocks, they're... reminders. No one else may care, but I refuse to just let mine crumble away. I refuse to be forgotten. Right. Well, good luck with that. the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? Hey, buddy. This young lady you just asked if this happened before you or could say after that. the famous trial. I used to be a butcher before a this bitch got a bug up her ass and started so snooping around. People used to come from miles okay. away to buy it. And we're going to walk a little I had more now. awards than the wall space so to hang just Then, me. her little boy goes missing. And I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs. You'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. Well, that's exactly what I didn't want to know. Oh, good. Another story that I'll never find everything to. <laughs> oh my, that's going to be good. Dr. Trotter's findings. Whose hand is that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. A flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. 
I save the ones I can. The rest are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. That would be less disturbing if it weren't for the fact that that's generally how things rolled back in the day. Why were all those people sick? I, I, I think it's yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. Something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. They'll use me for his experiments. <coughs> This was a hospital. They were trying to help you. Can't you see? <coughs> this was a quarantine. No help is coming. Only death. <coughs> uh, too bad I cannot look through this bodily harm on the deceased. No matter how much I really do want to. Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. One is getting delirious again. I'm afraid he's gonna have another seizure. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> oh, that wasn't. I mean, I wasn't exactly expecting happy good times in the fucking uh, death zone, but really, this is getting awful morbid. Okay. 
Okay. Is that buying me something? Just hold on, will ya? <sighs> this is Travis the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Now because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Are some of the tortured mm. souls, the screaming <laughs> phantasms from this town's past, still haunting this graveyard? Screaming phantasms? Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut. Dwayne, how many times have I told you? Don't correct me up. Oh, he's got the moonlight behind me. Oh, hell. People come to the show, bro. Just start again. All right, roll. Travis the Trapper here, and we're in Salem. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent... Who actually watches this show? What? Definitely a paranormal event. I heard it too. These were rough to get past. I remember this. This was this was nice to get through. But it wasn't unbelievable. It was just kind of We should have brought our warmer jackets. So, you think the witches can win the division this year? How can witches? Oh, you mean our football team? Yeah, I think we stand a pretty good chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. Must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Sure is cold out here. Your jacket looks really warm. Yeah. Jeez, I'm practically throwing myself at him. What's a girl gotta do to get a little affection? It's nice that she's so interested in football. Here I 
thought she that he was being a dick, but no, he's not. He's just trying to get some attention. So apparently that ain't working out too well. Damn, is the cemetery the make out spot? You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witches right around this spot. Don't worry, little boy. I'll protect you. That works for me. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, there's no ghosts of witches back here. And there's no... What the hell that girl I'm chasing? On your side, I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. My God, you, you're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something? Contract? What, what, what did he mean by contract? No. no. This is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this. Why are you 
doing this to me? Who are you? What are you doing? You're him! Oh, no! I don't want to... It's Simba. Stop it! Please, just... He drew on you. His symbol. It must have meant something. You must have been a real scumbag. Actually, I was a war hero once. At least that's what I told people. I'm guessing there's more to the story. Let's just say I embellished on a few bloody stories I overheard in the barracks and made them my own. The next thing I know, people are calling me a hero. How'd you wind up here? I tried to kill the man who threatened to expose me. I knew he was a lush, so I bought a flask and filled it with booze and rat poison. I don't know how, but he found out. The flask was supposed to be a gift, but before I could give it to him, he broke into my place with a few friends and beat me within an inch of my life. I'm guessing this is the last inch. I just wish I could have actually saved some lives. It felt good to be called a hero.
here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard was quite old. I felt a chill. Was it a ghost? Follow Wonder if it's really haunted. Probably scandalous stuff they can't talk about. I think they really like this part. Can't be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something. The middle of the night. Just get your ass over it. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm looking for something? Ronan! I heard screams and... It's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake and let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is... He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he, he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible Bell Killer survivor. Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is it a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. Guess I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Sorry, Julia. I, 
Sam. I got some bad news. Don't worry, bro. She already knows. teleport farther. That would be helpful. place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. Okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. Kid, you're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. Just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. 
Maybe these things on her desk will help us. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. some arbitrary conclusion that I draw that makes everything work. Seems to be the way of things. friend is all she has left. Sorry. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris. Uh, Iris Campbell. Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Hold tight, kid. I got this. Just need to keep eyes on her computer screen. Find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. that after I roam around and click on all the clicky clickers.
Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right, let's get moving. Another camera, get on it! Visible as you help me out. Up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Nope. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. <gasps> Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess. Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! Skull doing in here. Oh, this is really a horrible place.
I gave up is because the patrolling shows are a fucking process to get past. They turn too fast. So you can never actually get over here without them closing in and running up on Plus, there's a bunch of fuckery to keep you from getting closed except by one singular path. So, you know, what do you I suppose that that has something to say for me. I'm not completely by my depressions. Wait. Is this right back where I started from? Or am I on the other side now? Come on. See what our comatose witness has to offer. After all, what the hell? She booted me out somehow. All right, let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl.
back to range if you can fucking see the uh, spiritual in my fuck. things for like art therapy or something do no blue blue eyes cold as death who had blue eyes and, and death what does that mean blue eyes wolf eyes blue stare What'd you see? Oh, poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. Leave us alone! Are you okay? It's 
Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back! <gasps> Who are you? I'm Joy. You don't belong in this place. Orderlies. Crap, I'm so dead! All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her! Come on, she's coming with us. No! You're not taking her! Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Town. Over here, in those shadows there. Coast is clear. <sighs> Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. I thought I would never see this again. All right. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demons? We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. The way he did? He drowns one girl and burns another? And where have I seen that stake before? That's it. All right, look, look. Get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay. Come on, Iris. All right. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? Okay, so this is where we're going to uh, call it tonight, because I do have people coming over fairly soon. So we will pick up here tomorrow and go check out the uh, Museum of Witchcraft and try to slowly piece together the Bell Killer thinks people are summoning demons because he's psychotic. Um, and... No, I don't think I need LSD either. I don't feel like that would be a good call. Take care.